All right, good morning. So th right now I'm going to go through a problem, uh, the pirate ship circular motion problem. You'll have problems like this on your test or your assessment. Um, it's just that stuff we've already done, but it's to an application. So at the PE, there is this pirate ship that looks like so. Um, if you want to see what it looks like, go to this YouTube video and just watch the 25 seconds just to see what it does. But it goes down and up, down and up. So kind of like this picture. So if someone's sitting at the back of the boat, it'll kind of rotate down and up, down and up. Just from kind of, I simplified it with one lever arm. They have kind of two that connect it, but it's the same thing when you had just have one. So it's gonna go down and up and then back down and up, okay? So the question I had for it, if you were watching this at the PE, um, on their website they say that you feel weightless. Um, or apparent weightlessness, are they correct? So the piece of information I'll give you is the lever arm is 13.57 meters in length. Um, and that's about it. So in this question, um, it's pretty broad. And when I get into a question, I like to just ask myself, what do I know or what can I find out? So I'm gonna go uh, ask myself a question what is the centripetal force that people feel on this ride? So it's a vertical circle, essentially. Um, so I know FC is going to be either one of two equations, uh, M times V squared over R, or it's either M times four pi squared R over T squared. Uh, in this question, I know I won't be able to find out what the velocity is just by looking at it. Okay, I'd have to measure that, so I'm not going to use that equation. I'm going to use the m4 pi squared r over t squared equation. So I'll see if I can find out any information here. So our mass of our person, uh, let's just leave it as a variable. It could be anything, so let's just make it anything. And then we have a four. Uh, is it better with the light off? Four pi squared. And then our radius is 13.57. So I'm gonna plug that in there. And then all over t squared. So do we know what the period, if it went a full circle would be? It doesn't go a full circle, but if it went a full circle. So we don't really know what that is. So I'm gonna kind of guess or provide an estimation. So when I watch this video, I notice that it takes roughly three seconds to go from there to there. Okay, so from there to there, it takes roughly three seconds. Um, so overall, um, if it takes three seconds to get from there to there, I would say that that is around a quarter of a circle. So going from there to there, I would I would uh, guess is roughly a quarter of a circle. So if it takes three seconds to do a quarter of a circle, it's gonna be very roughly 12 seconds. And I would say maybe sig fig wise that is correct. 12 seconds to go around the whole circle, okay? So with that, um, We can write our equation again, fc equals m 4 pi squared 13.57 all over 12 squared. All right, so now that we have that, we can make it a simpler equation so it's easier to read. So I'm gonna type in all this into my uh, calculator, 4 pi squared 13.57 over 12 squared. Okay. Um, so sig figs wise, I only have two there, so my answer must have only two. So when I calculate it, this is what I got, 3.7 m. Okay, so I got 3.7 times your mass is the centripetal force that you would feel, or the force that the boat would apply on you as it goes. Okay, and this is all assuming that the boat is going a constant speed, but it does accelerate, so it's not a perfect answer, but um, it's a pretty good way to analyze it. So now we have two. The other question I'm gonna ask myself is what is FG? 
what is the force of gravity on the person? So let's write that down. Fg is, what is it again? It's just 9.8. I'm not going to go 9.81. 9.8 is probably not a very good one either because there's air friction. So I'm just going to stop there. 9.8 times your mass. Okay, so that one was easy. Force of gravity is 9.8 times m. Force centripetally is just 3.7 times m. So it's not going super, super fast. Um, so the question that it was is, they state that you feel weightlessness. Are they correct? Generally, in a question that we've done, we'll have a vertical circle. And at the top, we'll ask ourselves, it's they only feel weightless if FG is the same as FC, right? Because if FG is more than FC, uh, it'll want to pull you down. If FC is more, then you kind of feel the seat of your roller coaster. So overall, from the question, um, you would not feel weightless. from the centripetal force. This is because FC is not equal to FG. They're different, right? This is more, this is less. Okay, but they do say on their website that they feel weightless at some point in this. Um, and they are kinda correct, I would assume, is when you reach the top, you, the uh, ship actually accelerates downward, it slows down faster. It doesn't just let gravity slow it down. It actually provides a power and forces it downward when you reach the top. Okay, so it puts this acceleration on the boat when you reach the top. Okay, so at some point, the boat must accelerate downward by 9.81 meters per second squared to feel weightless. So that must be true for their their quote to be right. Okay, So that must be what happens at some point, maybe just even a split second, it accelerates when you reach the top downward at 9.81 meters per second squared for a very split second. Okay, uh, the last thing I'm gonna go through is I'm gonna ask myself another question, just because I'm curious. An extra, how many G's do you feel at the bottom? So, when I'm thinking of this, how many G's do you feel? That just means how many forces of gravities, or how many multiple of those 9.8 ones would you feel, okay? If you're not moving on Earth, you just feel one G, or you just have a kind of acceleration of 9.81 meters per second squared. Uh, that's what one G is, okay? So uh, we'll look at this, FG plus FC, that's at the bottom here. If you remember at the bottom of the circle, that's when you feel the most kind of weight um, so here we can go FG plus FC is going to be 9.8 M and then FC we found to be 3.7 if it was constant throughout. So overall this is roughly, very roughly, 13 and a half times your mass. Okay. Uh, but when you talk about G's you're only talking about the acceleration, you're not really talking about the mass. So overall, it's not 13 and a half Gs, but that's 13 and a half meters per second squared that you would kind of feel at the bottom. So if we want to find out how many Gs, number of Gs, we just go, um, we'll go acceleration of gravity plus acceleration centripetally over 9.8. One, because we know 9.81 means a G, okay? 
Again, we're not taking force of gravity and force to centripetal because we don't really care about the mass when it comes to g's. Okay. Uh, so overall here, it's 13 and a half divided by 9.81, and overall that'll give us 1.3 eight very roughly g's okay so at the bottom of this pirate ship ride you kind of feel 1.38 times the the um the gravity acceleration or the force of gravity at the bottom